Yeah, but uh, let's let's give Eric some appeasement right here, and let's talk about the Australian demigod, the man who had a triple double. All right, the man who stole the show, even though our boy Shay dropped thirty. Shout out Aaron Wiggins as well for a good game. And this, if you're if people aren't buying stock in Josh Giddy, I don't know what you need to do to to be buying stock in Josh Giddy. All right, because he's a guy who's been playing phenomenal this year, and the three point shot is starting to come around. And he's one of one 17 11 and 17 what are your thoughts right there eric i know he's probably jizzing his pants right here this thunder team's going to be a playoff squad next year maybe even this year and it was man dang yeah he had a good game probably the best game of his career so far they're 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 gonna make the playoffs or at least the plan of the plan constitute playoff appearance yet <laughs> they'll be there and Josh Giddy, man, that draft class is looking really good in general. I, I really like the long-term outlook of that class. Josh Giddy is a big reason why he does a little bit of everything. And I mean, we saw plenty of glimpses last season, but I'm excited for Josh Giddy's career. I don't, I really like, don't know what he puts in his hair to get it to stick like that. It's pretty impressive. But Shay and Giddy, Giddy up, got the J Dubs. At Holmgren. I think uh, first off, yeah, Josh Giddy, he has to be he's putting something in his hair. Mine like always is going around. Hey, J Dub is out right now with the injury, and we got to see J Will, you know, the longer version of like Al J. Horford. Will. Yeah, I love J Will. So Usman Dang, he's a guy that he needed time in the G League, and now he's back from the G getting a bunch of G League experience. He's looking like a guy who's making an impact. Lindy Waters got himself a multi-year deal. He's a sniper for this team. The, the you know, obviously the Thunder might look a little different next year in terms that this team next year is making the jump. And we kind we know the core. Lou Dort, Josh Giddy, Shea, Uzman Dang. Also, Dario Saric. How could we not give Dario Saric love? Dario Saric, he was part of the video I made last night. This man, so far, through nine games, averaging 15 minutes a night, 10 points, 63% almost from the field, 45.8% from three, four rebounds and assists a night. Dario Saric is literally just... People forget that he was Luka Doncic before Luka Doncic in terms of hype when he came over. And per 36, he would be averaging 24.4 points, nine rebounds, two assists, all right, and in a in 36 minutes. And to be exact, if he was per 100 possessions, he's averaging 32.2 points. His offensive rating is 131. Yeesh. Isn't that insane, Darius Arts, right now? Good for him. Yeah. Right. He definitely just got himself... Like the way he's playing right now, he's not going to be a minimum contract next this coming offseason. Somebody's going to have to no. pit, give him some of their mid level exception. Yeah, hey, good for him. I wonder, uh, I want, yeah, this team next year is going to be fun, but I, I would like to see them a lot be the eighth seed and get, like, you know, get out of the play and, and I don't know, I, not keep Denver. The first year the Grizzlies. Over. The Grizzlies that were made the play in the first year the play in was created. Did they yeah. win or did the they Lakers, lose? The Lakers beat them. The Lakers no. beat them, right? Yeah, I think you're right. So I kind of would like that kind of situation for this Thunder team. Go in the play in, win or lose, don't matter. Let's just get the let's get like valuable game minutes, like game that matter minutes, if that makes sense, sure. under their belt. Then that off season. You can, even though it might be only one, two games, depending on where they're in the play -in or even playoffs, you kind of will get a sense of who on this roster is ready for the big moment. And once you figure that out, you know, because we kind of have an idea of what the core is when this team is healthy, okay? And Chet Holmgren, obviously, Josh Giddy, Shea, you would assume Uzmang Dang, Lou Dort, J-Dub, all right, Kenrick Williams, who's out for season. And then you you have a bunch of other guys on this roster that'll be there that 
will they stay? Will you make, you know, there's talks of Fred Van Vliet being someone that they want to target. Do they make, you know, do they do what the Grizzlies do and you start bringing in some vets to be, ro you know, role players? Yeah, I think they will, kind of like Detroit last year. I think the better example is like the 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 Grizzlies because like they they switched out Valanciunas for Stephen Adams, and then they also you know they brought they brought in more guys in the sense that I guess it's like mixed because like not entirely like the Grizzlies have a lot more. I'm trying to think of another. I'm, I guess yeah, like Tyus Jones technically a vet. So just bring in kind of guys, you know, don't, don't have to be old guys could be like, you know, guys going on to their second contracts. Yeah. I, mean, I just think the, the, the future is bright. And ironically, we just mentioned the team that I did want to talk about. And this is a team that did, you know, Santi Aldama and before last night, Santi Aldama and Jaron Jackson Jr. have only shared 42 minutes. Before. I don't know if they played any minutes last night. I haven't seen the updated stats. But 42 minutes together this season at the 4-5. and five. And in those 42 minutes, they're plus 42.4 with them both on the floor at the same time. So why the hell aren't they playing more? 